Israeli News Live. We have uh, very uh, interesting breaking news that is come that has came out just a couple of days ago by Alex Jones, and I've not actually mentioned Alex Jones on our news broadcast before. But what I find interesting in the broadcast that he put out as an emergency broadcast on the 20th, two days ago of June 2015, is he is talking about an urgency, and he's calling this a 50 to 60 percent chance of world war uh, between Russia and the United States. He is talking about the elites that have been evacuating America as well as Israel. Now, one of the things that I find fascinating in his report is that this is something that we have been reporting now for several months. We have saw, uh, uh, of course, we've just come to the United States just a few weeks back, but before getting here, we were in Israel. We were, of course, in Eastern Europe, where we spend a great deal of our time in both countries. Uh, we have seen, we've reported on, on a continuous basis, that there is a tremendous risk of a third world, world war. We have already seen the troop buildup of the United States in all the former Soviet states. We have seen the trains carrying tanks uh, from more than likely Germany, which would be the, the, the main point where they would come from, going into other European countries, crossing through Slovakia, Czech Republic, uh, going into Poland, Lithuania. We've got sources uh, that live in several of these countries, in, including Ukraine and Lithuania, as well as Poland. And we, are, we have heard already from the sources we have, especially in Lithuania, that U.S. troops are on the ground. We have seen U.S. troops. Uh, of course, it was right after an exercise coming back uh, a couple of months ago, coming back from Poland. But the thing is, is while they were coming back, heavy armament was being shipped in. And according to the source in Lithuania, there are American troops in Lithuania. There are heavy tanks. There are big jet fighters, fighters that they are not used to seeing by their own government flying overhead at nighttime doing exercises, uh, at least what they consider to be exercises in their country. And, uh, and then we have the United States recently breaks the news that Vladimir Putin was uh, bringing out uh, or going to, had ordered up 40 inter, 40 plus, excuse me, 40 plus intercontinental ballistic missiles. Now the problem with this is, is that um, the U.S. said that they were retaliating themselves uh, in sending in heavy equipment and warplanes, F-22s, into the former Soviet states to build up, to counter-react uh, the buildup by Vladimir Putin. But the sad truth of the matter is, is that it was Putin who was actually retaliating for what the U.S. had done. Uh, and quite frankly, as we've said in many reports already, it is inevitable, it appears to be inevitable at least, that there is going to be a war that will break out with U.S. forces and, and also with Europe. And then on top of all of this, you have Greece that is about to exit from the Eurozone, uh, from the European Union, and exiting from the European economy. There is a lot of talk that the European economy is in a tremendous uh, struggle at this point. And of course it would be, seeing that the United States has placed sanctions on Russia and in an effect is causing the European economy to be in a very shaky, unstable predicament at this point. Now, in some of the points I want to bring out that Alex Jones said in the interview, in, in, the, in the broadcast that he pointed out, he says that he has gotten two calls just that day from two different people. He identified one as being a, a very high person in Hollywood, another one a very high person in the military. They were very wealthy individuals that actually asked him why wasn't he leaving the United States before October. Now, for us, we actually are planning to go back into uh, uh, Europe ourselves, East Europe, no doubt, uh, this coming, uh, in, well, in the next few weeks ourselves, and then back into Israel. So we are looking at going in at a very volatile time. But these people are leaving the United States. Billionaires, millionaires have been leaving. And Alex has been reporting on this for the last five years, letting you know about these things that are coming up. Now, 
I can't say yay or nay on Alex. I know there's a lot of different opinions about him out there, but one thing's clear, he has been trying to warn the American people for years about uh, things that are coming up. He's also been talking about Jade Helm. He says in this particular interview regarding Jade Helm that Jade Helm is actually uh, is being put together to bring occupation for the United States in the southwest region of the United States. Again, we cannot confirm if this is true or not. One thing that we have been able to, to report on ourselves at Israeli News Live here is that when the United States called it an exercise going into the Black Sea where Crimea was on the coast, according to Russia, it was not an exercise. They were coming to take back Crimea from the Russian people as they had just annexed the, the, the part of Ukraine back to the Soviet Union. Uh, of course, the United States and Great Britain backed down, and then Putin came up missing, and all the whole world wondered why he was missing for 10 days. We did a story called, Putin is not dead, he prepares for war, and only to find out later in a secret email that we got, we were actually right on the money. But it seems like there's a lot of preparation for war. And of course, our concern is, is that the United States will may very well become, become a target of Russia, uh, especially if Russia is attacked with any kind of ground invasion. Now, that also brings another important thing to the table. When I saw Jeb Bush enter into the political arena for the race for the White House, and then he made this statement about Putin, and we mentioned this to you on the news the other day, that his statement was in line with the Vatican's take on this all as well. Why? Because he said that they supported the Russian people and that Russia should be, and this is just paraphrasing his comment, but Russia should be part of the European Union. But it was the thug regime that needed to be changed. When I heard him speak like this, I knew that he was the Vatican's choice for the next president of the United States. And when you look at the, all the candidates lined up, he's really the only man that stands a chance of winning. Hillary Clinton, no doubt, will get the Democratic nomination. Why? Because there's so many people running for the ticket, she's probably the one that would get the nomination, but there's no way for her to defeat Jeb Bush. She's got far too much baggage in her closet that is really hindering her to win, the, to win the presidency itself. Looking at some of the other things that Alex said on his broadcast, um, he said that the central banks also have run, uh, have been making a run uh, on the banks for their gold as well. That's kind of interesting. And of course, Texas was in the news recently for demanding their gold from Manhattan, that they had actually voted in Texas to transfer the some odd billion dollars worth of gold in, uh, from Manhattan to Texas that they would guard their own gold. That's kind of like the first step of Texas succeeding the Union. And maybe this is why we see all the Jade Helm going into southwest region of the United States. Is there a possibility that the states were planning on joining efforts together in order to succeed the Union and creating another southern United States dividing the country. Well, even that's another thing that we've reported here months back, saying that if Texas decided to succeed the Union, do you think that Obama would even stand by for it? Not for a moment. They would do whatever it takes to make sure that the 50 states stay together. And now we're actually seeing this come to pass, or at least maybe the signals of it that that's exactly what they're intending to do. Now. For sure or not, I can't say, but I brought this out in light of the fact that Israel's being forced into a two-state solution by the United States. And uh, so it's very interesting to see that uh, as well. Uh, Ron Paul said on CNBC that there is a day of reckoning coming up for the stock market. Uh, also, it says here that... Um, um, uh, China also has, has been uh, pulling their gold out of the United States, and Germany, too, has requested their gold to be given back by the United States. But as of yet, the United States says that Germany, they won't give it back as of yet. It'll be about 10 years before they get their gold. Well, as I was told recently and sitting with a banker myself, they're just kicking the can down the road. 
He said, there's nothing the American uh, government can do now. The economy is in such a shamble, all they're trying to do is to put off the inevitable, and that would be a financial collapse. Well, one thing's for sure, we're in for, we'll be in for a ride in the very near future. Now, is it going to happen this year? Or will it be next year? Or will it be a couple of more years down the road? That's something that we can't really tell ourselves. We have no way of knowing for sure when this will all happen. I've kind of wondered if it might not happen this year, but the simple fact is, is that Pope Francis is coming to the United States in September. I can't see why he would plan a trip here and then it collapse. But then again, maybe his trip here has a lot to do with what Alex Jones is speaking about because he said, the elite said, are you not gonna be gone by October? Well, the Pope comes in September. Maybe it's not September when the economy crashes as Jonathan Kahn has predicted or it may be that it crashes but no one really knows as of yet. But after the Pope leaves, then they'll start doing business that they need to do. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.